Are you ready for the word? Amen. God is saying, I want to change you. Now, before God blesses a man or a woman, he has to change their identity. Now, identity is also connected to your name, who you are. When we say Esther, we say Moina, when we say Darla, we, we know who we are dealing with. We know who, which Darla. There's only one Darla here. So your name reveals you. Did you hear what I said? Your name reveals who you are. Praise God. I saw you in the vision and I'll come to your organization. It's helping kids. That's right. Why are you saying hallelujah? She told me she wanted to work for kids. Richard! <laughs> Listen, when you read, your eyes won't skip pages. She has what? Dyslexia. A woman called Erica is coming your way. That's not it. Let the Lord deliver you now! Yeah. Well, uh, names in the Bible have a lot of significance and have a lot of meaning. And the names of God have a lot of meanings. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, uh, Jehovah El Kanu. And all those names define God in a different way. And whenever God came like Jehovah Jireh, he manifested like provider. When he came like Jehovah El Kanu, Jehovah Nisi, El Gibor, he manifested himself as a God of war. Right? But tonight, God is saying your name is very powerful. Or oh, if you do not have a name that God has revealed to you who you are, there is a problem. See, Saul in the Bible, Saul in the Bible used to kill Christians. But he transformed his name from Saul to Paul. This is the New Testament. Lest you say, well, what you're talking about is the Old Testament. No. He, he transformed. He removed the letter S. The problem was the S. <laughs> oh. Let me go a little bit deep. Praise God. The problem is what? The S. So he converted himself. He transformed to Paul. After being baptized, he's Paul now. He's no longer Saul of Tarsus. Now, Saul was from the tribe of what? Benjamin. He was from the tribe of Benjamin. Do you know that? But now, now he said, well, I know I'm from the tribe of Benjamin, but I'm not going to stick with the name because of a tribe. Tribe is like culture. He said, well, I'm Hispanic. I'm going to stick with this name because I'm Hispanic. Call me Jose. <laughs> well, I'm going to stick uh, with this name, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm black. Call me Bolo. <laughs> Bolo, you know what I'm saying? Bolo. Call me Bolo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm saying, Bolo. Praise God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the Marco, you know what I'm saying? Black names. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, praise God. And, and when we go to the white culture, you see, yeah, call me Brian. <laughs> or Ryan. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, we all have names. Say, call me that. I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. Because we don't have crazy names like, you know, Pablo, you know, Escabo, es, 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 what? Escobar. Escobar, Pablo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sounds risky. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a mafia. You feel like, and, and Pablo says, leave me, I'm Pablo. Hmm. So Saul did not decide to chill with his name as Saul. He said, hey, he understood the spiritual realm. Saul was a man who rejected God's voice in the Bible. So he said, if I am to convert, and if you look at the characteristics of Saul before he became Paul, he used to kill Christians. He was a murderer. He used to martyr Christians. He used to execute genocide. He had that same spirit as the Saul, the king, who was just rebellious, wanting to kill, like a killer. He sees David playing the harp. This is the next king who's going to succeed me. I'm going to kill this one. Ooh, he throws a spear. Ah, he misses it. David is like, ah, my king, you want to kill me? I'm playing music for the demons to go. Ah, but you want to kill me. So he takes off. So he had the same spirit. So names carry an identity. And names can also attract spirits. There are certain names that attract certain spirits. Oh, Jesus. Can I talk a little bit deep? There are names that attract certain spirits. 
When I say certain spirits, I say not necessarily the spirit of God. I say spirits. Spirits that are different from God. Negative. Dangerous. Aggressive. Just wicked spirits. You know, I used to to know a girl by the name Ruby. She came, you know, you watch a movie and it's uh, you're young, your older sisters are watching a soap opera and the girl's name is Ruby. So you're like, okay, Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Every time I hear them say Ruby, Ruby, I'm growing up. Now, in real life, I met a girl called Ruby. And then again, I met Ruby, another Ruby. And every Ruby I met, there was something about those Rubies. They were crazy. They were very strange. From the movie Ruby, you see these people who make these movies, they know. Ruby was just this woman who didn't care. She was burning down the hacienda. She's crazy. She's like, you know what? I got to have my way. She wants to be in control of everybody. Killing the innocent to just get in power. Ruby. And the second Ruby I met was a woman in person. Same thing. Destroying relationships. She doesn't even care at all. I'm Ruby. Third Ruby, same way. I didn't meet what I heard. We are talking, talking, talking in a conversation. What's the name of the girl? Ruby. I said, ah, okay. Ruby. If you're here, you know a Ruby. Who's funny. Who knows a Ruby and you've seen something funny about them? What did you experience about a Ruby? Well, um, or what did you hear? Ruby, mm -hmm. I prophesied. Mm -hmm. It was during prophetic moments. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> it was during prophetic moments. When his boy is around, she acts up. Mm -hmm. She has to make sure every boy sees me. I'm Ruby. You know how what a ruby is? It's a precious stone. Mm -hmm. uh, it's red, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. <sighs> ruby. She would kind of like be in competition. Ah. Or whatever. So I was like, Girl, she has to. She has to what we call um. There's a man here. I have to make sure I'm the best and I'm outshining yeah. every chick. If she enters in a group where everybody's having a function, I'm Ruby. I don't want to walk like a woman, praise God. But uh, you know what I mean. Everybody just has to throw her hair, attention. Everybody, I'm here without saying I'm here. Huh? Ruby. Praise God. Got the microphone. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know Ruby. How was she? The same way. Ah! Well, not like... Oh, but in a different way. Like, she was... Yeah, I was dating one guy in mid, uh, high school, and uh. she just had to have that same guy. And then after that, she was just dating multiple guys, like... Ruby. You know, got around. Ruby. All right. Ruby. May she not see this. Uh, oh, it is well. We're <laughs> still cool. No, she, no, don't worry. <laughs> She'll be delivered. <laughs> yeah, this is a setup. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, Ruby. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> praise God. Amen. Yeah, because someone say, my look at this video and uh, or what I'm doing right now tonight and say, well, if I was named Ruby and I'm not like that, I know you're not like that. But there's just something. Because if your parent gives you a name, doesn't mean you're stuck with that name forever. Mm -hmm. I was named like that. I mean, if you're spiritual enough, you'll understand that Names have meanings and have origins. Praise God. Amen. So Saul of Tarsus, his name is what? Paul, after baptism. Then I got to believe and I got to know, ah, there is baptism name. There's a baptism name. When God baptizes you with fire and water, he gives you a name, a name, a name that goes ahead of you. Not saying, oh, we are traditional in our culture. They call us this and you run with that. Mm -mm. God doesn't want you to run with a culture name. He wants you to go beyond culture. Amen. Culture. 
Reese, Reese, yeah, yeah. I was named after my grandma, grandma. Yeah, she was like this, but you don't really know her. You don't know who your grandma was. Mm. You don't know who your grandma was. And during prophetic moments, uh, God did something amazing during prophetic moments. One time I called out a girl's uh, name, eh? And, and, uh, and I said, uh, why am I seeing you? But I see an old lady behind you. And this woman said, well, the name you just said is the name of my grandma. And I said, don't worry. <laughs> see me later after service. She said, okay. <laughs> She's excited. Me, I knew. What I wanted to tell her, her family will not be able to stomach it. So I wanted to put her on the side. And tell her like you, this temperament you're having, you know, I went in details, okay? Say, Jesus, Jesus I, love you. I love you. Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. Increase, me. Increase me. So names have meanings. I said it again. The power behind a name. Now in the Talmud, the Talmud is a Jewish studies, Talmud. The Talmud. It's like a um, Jewish dictionary, what they study, they call Talmud, right? In the Talmud, you find there was uh, Moses. Okay, in fact, according to the Talmud, his actual name, uh, he was named after three months. No, no, he was named with his mother, Je Jeho. The name is very special, <laughs> but it is well. It, 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 is, it is believed his name was uh, Tovu or Tobias. You know, scholars argue what was the actual name before he was taken away, you know. You know, like uh, with, a, with a daughter of Pharaoh. He drifted in the river Nile, you know, in Africa. And, and he arrived in the house of Pharaoh. But then they named him Moses, which means drawn from the river, right? But uh, when we read the Bible, we, we hear about Moshe. In Hebrew, Moses is Moshe, right? Every time you talk about Exodus, you talk about Moshe, Moses. And if he stayed like Tobias... Tobias will have died if he stayed in his mother's house during the genocide that was taking place of the, all the male children being killed. Tobias will have died. But, 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 but God made sure uh, Miriam took the little baby boy, drifted him across the river Nile, and Pharaoh's daughter received him and called him Musa, Moshe. Praise God. There's a reason why. Hallelujah. Some of us are fighting battles that are connected to our name, the name they gave you. Names are very spiritual than physical. A name. There are names you can carry. It can cause you to have trouble every time. Trouble, 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 trouble. Like I said last time, names like Damien. <laughs> Damien, anybody you know called Damien. <laughs> trouble. They're always traumatic trouble. Why? Because let no one lie to you. Every name has a meaning. If someone tells you, oh, it's just a name, you're not a dog. Even a dog's name has a meaning. You're not an animal. Everything you see, every word you hear has a meaning in the spirit world. Do you hear what I said? Yeah. You, you get me? So, so, so Moses became the deliverer of the children of Israel, right? Now, because of Moses, he stayed with the identity of Musa. Moses, right? Not Tobias. So who named him? Pharaoh's daughter, drawn from the river. And the same river was drawn from is the same waters he parted. It was so spiritual, that name. Didn't you realize he parted the waters with his rod? He was so spiritual, praise God, because he, he was given an ability by God to control water, Moses, because <laughs> he was drawn from the water. That's what his name means. Hallelujah. Then we find there's a name also of a woman called uh, 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 Hadassah. We see Hadassah in the Bible. Her actual name became Esther. Why? Because she had to change her identity for a nation to be saved. Some of us are carrying names that are preventing us in the spiritual realm from moving to the next level because your name can announce you negatively or positively. Your name, name. 
Names are very spiritual. In Africa, in Africa, in the Hebrew culture, when they named children, you know, you hear a name, oh, that means pain. You hear a name that means joy. In the Hebrew, when you read the Old Testament, like Deuteronomy, children were named, the children of Jacob, the wives of uh, Jacob. When they named the children, sometimes they will name the children according to the pain, sorrow, strange names. And you wonder, like, mm, a child is called sorrow. And that child grows up and becomes very dramatic. Because the mother suffered a lot and said, mm, I'm going to call this child sorrow. And look at that child. When the child grows up, it's nothing but chaos and sorrow and disappointment. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So you see Esther. Her name is not Esther. Esther is not a Hebrew name. It's a Babylonian name. A name from Babylon. So her actual Hebrew name was Hadassah. But Mordecai had to be wise. And he ended up counseling Hadassah and said, Hey, you know, they must, there's going to be a genocide that uh, Hebrews are going to be killed. The king of Babylon is planning to kill all the Hebrews. But you are the one to save us. You are the one to do something. You're going to follow my instructions. Uh, from henceforth, you're not Adasa. You're what? Esther. So she switched her name. Because if she remained as Adasa, the whole Israel would have perished. Because the king had determined, I want to kill. So she ended up being Esther and she got into a fast for three days. We call it the Esther fast. Hallelujah. So you see the power of a name. Power of a name. a name. A name can be positive or destructive or negative. A name. And names, uh, names attract either. A name can attract God's blessings. With a name you can move with God's blessings. Concerning that name it can carry a blessing or it can carry, carry a curse. Like I said last time. Praise God. Alright. Then we switch to a man called uh, Jacob, Jacob in the Bible. Jacob actually, if you know anybody called Jacob, they need to switch their name. Praise God. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll do it shortly. Jacob in the Bible stole his brother's blessings. Cook a bowl of soup and everything. And Esau is angry. Jacob, if I don't have you, if I don't kill you, <laughs> he has to flee away. Ends up going to the house of Laban. But then Jacob gets so frustrated. He's like, God, I'm tired. My brother is after me. Why? The name. There was something about the name because after he did that trickery, he always had trickery following him. There was a curse behind the name Jacob the moment he stole his brother's blessings. Why? Because even when he wanted to marry Rachel, something happened. Laban lied to him. The same lie. Him and his mother had conspired to steal the blessing of Esau. The curse followed. So with the name Jacob, he was tired. He said, tell me, who am I? One night he got into prayer. Because think about this. Laban is there. He says, hey, work for me, whatever. I'm going to give you, Rachel. Then the day of the, you know, he works hard for Laban while he moved to another city. The day of getting his bride and uh, it's at night, when he wakes up in the morning after doing the traditional whatever, you know, they used to cover. Hebrews used to cover. Hebrew women used to be covered when they did weddings and, you know, at night. And they, they did it in a certain way. When he woke up in the morning, it wasn't Rachel. It was switched. <laughs> it was Leah. <laughs> so he cried and he walked again. How many years? Seven more years to get who? Rachel. But then he got tired. He said, God, I'm tired. One night he woke up and he began to pray. He said, God, change my name. An angel of the, of the Lord in the Bible says, came. And Jacob began to wrestle with the angel of the Lord because he wanted his identity to be changed. He said, I'm tired, I'm tired. Till daybreak, fighting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Until the angel stood and looked at him like he said, hey. What do you want me to do? Is that change my name? Change me? Who am I? I want to know who am I? Like the angel that would strike his left hip on to paralyze him. And he said, no longer will you be called Jacob. You shall be called Israel. You'll be called Israel because man has wrestled with God. <laughs> no man has wrestled with what? God. He fought with an angel, a spiritual being. 
in deep meditation because of identity. Who am I? The question I want to ask you tonight is, who are you? Are you who your parent named you? Or are you who God is calling you? Because you got to get something here. Isaac was spiritual. He named Jacob Jacob for a reason. He named Esau Esau for a reason. But God got to a place where he had to change the identity of Jacob. And Jacob became a nation. And up to now we know the nation of Israel, a very powerful nation. Now up to now we hear Israel. That was the name of a person, Israel. From him came a strong remnant of warriors. You know, like a nation that cannot be defeated. Can be oppressed, but not defeated. Are you ready? Amen. Are you getting me? Yes. Are we together? Yes. Say, Lord, my name. Lord, my name. Change my identity. My, identity. my name. My name. Help, me Help me understand my name. My name. I, want I want to understand who you have called me, have called to, me be. to be by my name. By my name. My name. My name. Names are very deep. Like I said last time, the woman I prayed for, I pulled on the side and I said, this woman I'm seeing, I'm looking at you, I'm seeing an old woman behind you. Who's this old woman? Then she says, my grandma, I was named after her. I called her on the side. I prayed with the lady. And I told her, like, change that name. There's a problem. Because every time, because every time she, can you hear me? Because every time she tried to apply for a job, she tried to do things that will help her. There was always a hindrance. Why? Because her grandma lived a life of rejection all her life before she died. The family even accused her for being a witch. So the mother sees her daughter and says, well, I, I don't care what they said about my grandma. I'm going to name my daughter after who? My grandma. But what did grandma face in the village? Rejection. So names carry an identity, not just an identity, but a spiritual identity. There's one son of mine in the faith, uh, right now is in, is, is in the media, right? He's very, um, very big and influential in the media in a country called Kenya, Nairobi. So uh, I met him and, uh, you, know, he, he, you know, I remember meeting him and he was complaining to me saying like, I don't know why every time people don't trust me. I try to do businesses and deals with people, but people back off from me. I don't know why people just dip in the last minute. And I said, uh, hmm, give me time and I'll pray. When I was about to like part ways with him, I said, hold on. I feel the presence of God. He said, what? We were in the mall. I said, you have a wrong name. His actual name was Thomas. If you look at the life of Thomas in the Bible, eh, he doubted even when Jesus resurrected. He always doubted. That's why they called him Doubting Thomas. After even Jesus resurrected, he, he had to even touch. He said, no, I have to touch to believe. Everybody else is like, ah, you're here. He said, mm -mm, I have to touch to believe. Why? Thomas walked with doubt a lot. He had a doubting thing about him. So I told him, people doubt you. He said, it's true. Oh, my God. I said, I went into depth. I said, all right, your name is Fontana. He said, what? He said, what does that mean? Fountain. He says, huh? I said, your name is Fountain. If I be a man of God in one year, I need you to pray, get in a fast. Uh, Fontana. He said, huh? I said, you know, a matter of fact, next time you meet me before I travel to the States, go get oil, oil, olive oil. I want to anoint Fontana, not Thomas. He said, huh? <laughs> Remember? I took the oil he brought after three days and I anointed him. When I anointed him, I said, Fontana, he began to cry. The presence of God came strong. Do you know right now, the man was going through a lot. <laughs> Contracts that open, he even said, man, it's crazy. He's all, all over billboards. He's the face of Shell in Nairobi. Became the face of Shell everywhere he went. People who had rejected him began calling him. He said, what did you do? I said, ah, Jesus, don't say what I did. Glory be to Jesus. The name, the name you carry, Fontana. Everywhere he enters, you know Fontana, everywhere he's connected with now governmental people in the government, everywhere he's doing his wedding now. After even his name change, <laughs> he's having a wedding in December. I'm the one speaking there in Africa. He said, no, 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 I'm not going to allow nobody to speak. Come and speak to my wedding. I met his woman. He said, hey, that's my mentor, my father in the faith. And uh, 
you know, he wanted me to check the woman, and uh, I said, hey, don't, don't put on blast like that, I said. Because, you know, I mean, I didn't plan, but he clicked the phone, and the woman is there, hey, hey, hey. I said, whoa. <laughs> I said, I didn't know this is going to be too soon like this. He said, wait a minute. He said, and then he texted me. <laughs> he said, don't worry, just flow. I said, what do you mean, flow? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and Lily said, Hi, how are you? You know, she's all you know, official. I said, Hey, he's, he's out, he's out, you know, I'm, I'm easy. And I said, I, I, You know, God did what he did, but anyway, I don't want to say a lot in the um, praise God. <laughs> but I got to do what I got to do, amen? amen? So right now, he has a lot of faith. I got a really nice car, really nice ride. I mean, sheesh. Uh, he showed me the pictures. I said, Wow. When your name changes, your identity, no longer will you know. You won't be known as who you used to be. The will of God is for you not to be known as who you used to be. You say, Papa gave me that name. No, ask yourself, how did Papa get inspired? How did your mom get inspired? Some of you carry the name of the ex of your mother. Praise God. Oh, for real. Ah, women are dangerous. Okay, I'm not going to say women are dangerous, but... <laughs> Women can be very special. Hey! The things I've done, you know, deliverance. Yeah. You say what? A lady did that to my brother. Yeah. She named him after uh, her baby is named after him. Imagine. And she's in a relationship. And she, she just got married. And she just got married. <laughs> she just got married. She, she's confirming. Yeah, there was a, there was a uh, lady. She's actually just got married right now. Well, mm. she's engaged, mm. but her daughter is named after my brother. Oh, God. And then, then you, you wonder, like, when they wake up in the morning, he's fighting. And they're married. They wonder what's going on. <laughs> Names. <laughs> so some of you might be, might be walking with the, the name of your, uh, your mother's... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, your mother's ex, and you don't even know it. Yeah, because she wants to see him. It's obsession. Praise God. What's going on here? Oh, no wonder. Praise God. I'm back. I am back. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah. And you wonder, like, what's going on with me? I don't got favor with people because the name you carry. Another uh, case I'm going to give you is a girl I know. And, uh, and, and we prayed together. Her name was uh, what? I'm trying to remember her first name, the, the name she told me we were, were in prayer. And I told her, no, 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 God is saying shalom, shalom, shalom. You are shalom. And we prayed, we did a prophetic action and we prayed together, we joined hands. And I said, your name is shalom. She said, shalom, I receive it. I said, okay, go and get your job. Go get the job you want. She had done the diploma, all these things, you know, masters in medical very smart for years. Eight years, she's not finding any job, any favor. Everywhere she goes, nobody has peace with her. They're like, we'll call you back. Right now, as we're speaking, she's established. Great medical doctor. Amen. She's okay. She's fine. Her name is what? Shalom. On social media, Shalom, 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 Shalom. I'm like, okay. Names have meanings. Names have meanings. Before you even uh, 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 think of any other thing, think about who you are. You know, sometimes it's who you are is the problem. Who you are and what people see you and what people knew about you and what, how people used to know you. Praise God. Amen. The Lord is saying, I'm doing something new tonight. Amen. The Lord is doing something new tonight. Do you believe this? Amen. The Lord Jesus is doing something new tonight. Do you believe this? Amen. The nation of Israel was saved because uh, uh, Hadassah became Esther. There's a reason why the name had to be changed. Let God change your season tonight. Let him change your identity. Let every demonic spirit of shame that has been oppressing you, giving you a hard time, lose influence tonight. I pray tonight that God gives you revelation of who you are. If you're open tonight and you're trusting God, you know, some of you have been saying, I'm tired of my name. I'm, I'm tired. You're like, okay, I know my name. I, I see it and everything. But, but what is it? What is it? Names have meanings. When you look at the Bible, don't just look at the Bible and say, I'm going to name my son Solomon. Name him Solomon, and you know what's going on. Praise God. 
I have a nephew of mine called Solomon. I'm telling you names are spiritual. Jesus. Uh -huh. There's an influencer called Andrew Tate. Who knows Andrew Tate? I don't like him. You don't know you don't like him? I know. Okay. There's a man called Andrew Tate. My nephew follows him. Mm. Gone online and subscribed. You know his classes? He lives in Sweden. My nephew. Behaves exactly the same way. Women here, women here, women everywhere. Women everywhere. It's like the same name Solomon, you're like, wow. Just like Solomon. Just like Solomon. And who named him? My father. And it's not just a name of wisdom. There's a revelation behind it. Praise God. Amen. Like last time I said, every David. There's nothing wrong with the name David. <laughs> But they're very canine. They're very sneaky. Every David. Davis David. Praise God. Amen. So let God reveal to you who you are. Amen. There's nothing wrong with the King David in the Bible. There's nothing wrong with the name. But there's a revelation behind the name that is good. And also there's a revelation behind the name that has a downfall to it. David. Me, you don't know how many counseling. I've been with my wife. We've done a lot of counseling of heartbreak. And you ask, what's the name of the guy, David? <laughs> Every time it's David, heartbreak. Davis, David, Davis, David, David. You know, women know a lot. Praise God. Amen. You know, you guys could know some revelation tonight. But let God deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let your name announce you. There's a name above every name, and it's the name of Jesus. Amen. Let God announce you tonight. Amen. Let him do something new tonight. Let God announce you tonight. Amen. Isaac, as you want your name to be changed, God is changing your name. Amen. May God change your name, Isaac. In the name of Jesus. God is doing something new tonight. How open are you tonight? Let God do something. You've been having a name, but what is the name God has for you? How does God see you? How does God portray you? How does he see you? What is your spiritual identity? How does God see you? Who are you? In the eyes of God. Amen. Not in the eyes of man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have your children who are named after their mother. And their mother wasn't sensitive enough. They just named names because they see it on showbiz, on TV. You know? Some even call their children Snoop. <laughs> I, yes. Because I like Snoop. I'm a fan of Snoop. Yeah. Some call Selena. You call your child Selena, because I used to listen to Selena Cantones. Yeah. And so you have a daughter, you call her Selena. How did Selena die? Mm. Died very badly. Died at the age of what, 22, 21? Yeah. She was betrayed and killed. Amen? Amen? And now your child, you're calling them Selena. It's by the revelation of what you love. Say, I love Selena. I'm going to call my child Selena. Be very careful. And some folks have done that a lot. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Let God set you free tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Let God deliver you tonight in Jesus' name. Let him give you wisdom tonight in Jesus' name. Let him give you provision tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Tonight you're delivered. Open up your heart and pray. You know, I want you to talk to God and say, God, change my identity. Make me understand who I am so that I may know what to do. So that I may know where to go. Talk to God. Mm. <laughs> Maybe tonight your name is Fontana. I do not know. Every name has a meaning. But it could have a meaning that is, that is a blessing once you involve God in it. Once you involve God in it and you say in the name of Jesus, this is my name, my name, my name, and you involve God in it, in Jesus' name. That, that's going to be something spirit. There's going to be a shift tonight. Praise God. Why is the name of your mother like that? Who was she named after? Your mom. Why is she always in sorrow? Why can't she stay in a relationship? Why can't she be at peace in a relationship? Your mom. What happened to her mom? Mm. Why is she always troubled? You know, her husband cannot trust her. Her husband is fighting her. There's a problem. There's a problem behind the revelation. Who are you? You are a man. Who named you after who? Who named you after who? I want to talk to somebody tonight. 
This name you're carrying, do you know who you are? Because familiar spirits are attracted to names. And they can follow somebody and you can behave exactly like somebody who's late. Because you carry the name and because the heart of whoever is naming you was connected to that person who was late. The same characteristics begin to follow you. And you wonder why are the same things. You can call it karma, you can call it whatever, but the same things keep repeating themselves. Back to back, back to back. And you're like, God, I'm tired. Who are you? I need you to pray tonight. Ask God, why do I call myself the way I call myself? They call me that. Yes, they call you that. But is that really you? Yes. Is that really you? Why are you always having pain? You're a woman. You could be with friends, but suddenly a strong pain comes. Why? A name. The name. The problem is the name. Who was Mariah? Who was Mariah? You know? But who was Mariah? That's the question. Why is there disappointment? <laughs> so the question, who was Mariah? That's the biggest question. Mama wakes up and says, hey, Mariah, but who was Mariah? That's what you need to research. The same woman named after you. A woman can have the same name as you, but with a different spirit behind it. Because someone can say, I call you Mariah because my grandma was a woman who fed people, helped people, delivered people. They say, okay, I'm going to name you Mariah. And it's the same grace you carry because the revelation is different. But another person has the same name as Mariah, but with a different revelation. Who are you? Praise God. Who are you? Talk to God tonight. Open up your heart. Let's be free. Let's not, hey, don't act like you're in Catholic church. Praise God. We are not doing sacrament. Hallelujah. There's no pop here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk to God. Who are you? Yeah. Be radical. Don't even hesitate. Praise God.